Hey guys, welcome to day 157 of my carnivore journey. And we have, a. am um, going to try to keep this as short as possible. We got a lot to cover. Um, guys, first of all, thank you guys so, so much. All the new followers that came over and joined our little family over here and, and came over from the Dave Mack interview. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate you. If I don't click love on your comment, I apologize. I'm trying to get to everybody. I, I you know, sometimes it can be overwhelming to get to a lot of comments. So I'm, I'm trying to get to everybody, but just know verbally, I'm letting you know also that I, I love and I am seeing all of your comments. Thank you guys so, so much for the love and support. And of course, all you guys that's been there on my channel normally as well. I, I, you guys know I love you guys. And we're all a family here. So I welcome all the new people. Um, I felt like the interview with Dave Mack went really good. Um, so if, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll post the link down below. Um, so And if you haven't subscribed to Dave Mack to No Carb, no Carb Life, uh, I'm going to have that, like I said, I'll have the link to the video. Make sure you you sub to to Dave there. He's doing really good work with just getting people's word, uh, their testimonials out there and help spreading the word. And of course, because I did the interview and we got to talk, um, he let me talk about the allcarnivoreinfo.com website. I've gotten quite a few submissions um, from people to help with ideas, People have already been giving me links and suggestions. So yes, if you so if you're watching this and you submitted a link or a suggestion to me, just know that it is being worked on. So if you will probably be seeing like if you sent me, I think some people sent me like some video links, some uh, channel links, um, some uh, I think a doctor. Uh, all of that stuff I'm working on. I just have to do like a quick screening of everything just to make sure um, because you guys know how there's a lot of trolls out there and they might send you links to like vegan stuff or whatever. You know what I mean? So I've just got to check out some of the stuff. But other than that, I mean, um, I am going to be getting that stuff posted. So yeah, again, you guys are helping to grow that website that and and that's what's going to really help us as a community having that 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 hub uh, that people can go there and it's a library it's a directory um, it's it's almost a one stop shop or at least we're trying to make it to that one stop shop so anybody even a current carnivore it's not just for new people but even you guys can go there if you need supplies you want additional information you want to watch some more testimonials whatever it is. Anyways, I don't want to harp too much on the, or, 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 or talk too much about the website, uh, update, a uh, daily update. Uh, that's what we do here mainly. Right. Um, today I had a Chuck roast. Um, I made it in the Instapot. So if you guys don't do the Instapot, some of you talk about slow cookers. I don't have an air fryer yet, but for the Chuck roast, uh, oh man, it came out amazing too, guys. I, I did, um, Two pound truck. Uh, let me uh, let me show you what it looked like on my plate first. All right, so that's what it just looked like on my plate. But man, um, so what I did, what I did. Now remember, there's multiple ways to make this stuff, guys. But what I did is remember when I took um, a while back when I took those trimmings off that I think it was the chuck eye steak, and I took some of those trimmings, like the gristly parts, you know, and I made a couple. A homemade batch of beef broth out of it and I strained you know strained the other stuff and so I had this couple cups of beef broth well it was like a cup and a half and then I had some other beef broth left over homemade so I took that put it in the instapot I took a chuck roast seasoned it with salt and I think salt pepper garlic and let it you know be nice and happy, had it wrapped in some tin foil, st like stored it away in, in like, I just put it inside a, a non heated oven, just, just kind of out of like, so it wasn't like hanging around on the counter and it was like wrapped up in tin foil, but I let it get happy for a few hours. Um, and then I seared it 
with that cast iron skillet, those drippings from the chuck steak from the from last night. Uh, I seared the a couple sides of the chuck steak and then put it in the Instapot, the pressure cooker, with those couple cups of homemade beef broth. Um, put it in there and pressure cooked it for 50 minutes. And man, it came out. Oh, so good, tender, uh, really good. And and I probably ate. Uh, now I did not eat a full pound of meat tonight. When it comes to the chuck roast, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of screwed up a little bit because for lunch I bought some bacon. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna make me some bacon. For the refrigerator for like for the week. So I made two pounds of bacon, which is um it was it came out to be 20 slices of bacon. Well, the first batch came out. I had to make it in 10 slice 10 slices per batch, right? 20 slices total, 10 for the first batch. First first batch came out. I let it cool down a little bit. I I ate a piece. Well, then pretty soon I'm like, um, I want another piece, you know? So I had two pieces. I'm like, well, you know, I ended up sitting there. I ate five pieces and I was like, oh, okay, I need to stop. And I, and I set them out of, out of my way. Cause I was, I had the plate of bacon cooling off right near me while I was watching some TV. And so that was probably a mistake. Cause it was like, it was like almost like having chips or something. It was like right there. And the second batch came out again, let it cool down. I had it right near me. I, ate, I ended up having five pieces of that batch. So total, I had like a pound of bacon for lunch. And then I had, I would say about three quarters of a pound of chuck roast for dinner. So that was my day, but I feel good. I don't, I didn't feel like overweight or bloated or anything. Uh, plenty of energy. Um, sorry, I'm recording this video a little late. You guys know me. I, I usually try to record these and have these posted by like 10 PM Eastern, usually most of the time, but it was just kind of a weird day today. And, but as far as energy wise goes, um, again, good energy. Now I did have some loose bowel. I had, you know, some, some diarrhea. This morning, I was really surprised, but could have just been a little extra fat content, maybe, um, especially with having some of those uh, like the Chuck steak and, you know, the Chuck eye steak and stuff. You know, a lot of them had some pretty good fat ratio. So I might have been a little heavier on the fats, plus with the butters and stuff that I was adding to those. So I would say, yeah, you know, that's probably why. Um, so we'll see how things go tomorrow. But that's the first time I've had. Uh, like a loose bowel movement in, in what it's been, it's been a while guys. I mean, I usually tell you guys, so in case you don't know when you're new here, I do share a lot. I, I just try to tell you guys like an everyday normal person type of vibe. You know, I just tell you how I feel like I give you the raw <laughs> unfiltered thoughts sometimes. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think that's about all I really wanted to cover was just like, Hey, the, the, you know, oh, and you know, thanks again for Dave uh, Mac. Uh, again, shout out to No Carb Life. Um, really enjoyed the interview with Dave, super nice guy. Um, and because of him, you guys put me over a thousand subscribers. That's that's awesome. Again, I'm not in this for the money, I do other things I make money at. This is not, you know, meant to be like a money lifestyle. This was just my diary I wanted to make for myself to hold myself accountable. Um, but thanks to you guys and all your support and love, um, you're giving me another goal in life. And that's just to help other people with this journey. So thank you again, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. But we will see you tomorrow, day 158, as we inch closer to that six-month goal of uh, day 180. And we'll see. Like I said, and I'm at 60 pounds down, so we'll see what happens. Um, I weigh myself once a month, so the next big weigh-in will be day 180, the six-month mark. And I'm hoping to 
to to to break 250 is my goal. I want to get under 250. That'd be my goal. I started at 315. All right, guys. I'll uh, talk with you tomorrow. Bye.